let's do a little practice and talk about picking a hand. First, let's grab 13 tiles. Ooh, a joker. Ooh, two jokers. So we have 13 tiles. Sort them by suit. The set is from Oh My Mahjong. So it's a little bit different than the traditional set, but clearly you can see what the tiles are. These are dots. Then we have our bams and then we have our cracks and our wins. And we have two jokers. So you usually start by looking at your pairs. And this is a good example of a nothing hand. We don't have any pairs. So you go through the category starting on the far left and decide which category most of your tiles fit I'm thinking I'm going to choose the category of three, six, nine. So everything that is not a three, a six, or a nine, I'm putting over to the far right. The tiles on my right will be tiles that I will discard during the Charleston phrase. Let's prepare for the Charleston. This is practice, so we're going to just set up a dummy Charleston. The Charleston consists of three tiles each pass for six passes. There is a seventh pass that we will do with the tiles that we discard. Three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, this is for the Charleston. Now we will pass three tiles to the right. And I'm just going to put them in front of me. These are my three tiles I just passed. I'm now taking up these three tiles from the person on my left. I'll place them in my rack and quickly look at them to see if it's a three, six, or nine or a flower, or a dragon. That is what's in the category, and they are not. So now I'm going to dump these tiles, go over, and pick up the new set. I picked up a three and a flower. I'm going to keep the three and the flower, because that's in my category. Now I only have two unwanted tiles. So now I have to go and look at the category of 369. I now have to decide where the most of my tiles will fit. I have a mixed array. I still don't have a pair to push me towards one line or the other. There's also a hand in singles and pairs that is 369 also. That would be a great category to try, except I don't have any dragons. So I'm going to forge ahead and maybe pick a hand that I can try to use some of my tiles. At this point, we're only on the second pass in the Charleston, so you can choose anything you like to discard at this point. Since I have a lot of jokers, I think I might try to go for the second hand in 369. It's three different suits. The second part is three different suits. Or I could also go for the first hand. Or I could go for the third hand. Looking at the third hand, I would need three and six in one suit, three and six of another, and nines. I have three and sixes. So let's take three and six in one suit and then maybe keep the nine bam. Now, if I was going to go for the top suit of the top hand, if I was going to go for the top hand, I need to keep three and six in one suit and then six and nine in the other. 
So maybe I'll keep this nine to go with that six. I only need to come up with one tile I do not want. So at this point, I think I'm gonna get rid of the six bam. Let's uh, do our first left. Pick up tiles over here that you set up earlier and put them in your rack. Yay, our first pair. <laughs> we got a three, six in the same suit, a pair of threes. Now we have two flowers, which fits in perfect for that second hand. Four flowers, a pair of sixes, and three, four nines. I think we'll try for that. So I have three, this six and this nine. I'm going to get rid of three tiles. And right now I'm going to get rid of the last three. Put them down. And this is the second left. I'm going to pick up the next ones. Oh, I just got rid of a nine. Yikes. And a six. Oh, perfect. We need that six. We keep whittling it down. I'm going to get rid of this three. And this is a cross. Pick up my tiles. We got a nine band. This is working out great. I have three to pass. This is my last right. And I'm picking these up. Oh, we got a flower and a joker. Now on a regular game, you would not receive a joker. So I'm going to put the joker back in because you can't pass jokers and pick a different tile. I got a nine dot. I don't need the nine dot. This is our last across. So I'm going to tell the person across from me, I only want two tiles. So I'm going to put these two tiles down and all our passes are here. I'm not going to take a new tiles. I'm just going to take these passes and mix them all up and just pick two tiles. We're probably not going to get anything we want because we did get rid of a lot. We got a nine dot and a seven bam. So now we're going to go into the game. We have three flowers. We're ready to call for the fourth. We have two three dots. We need four. We have our pair of sixes and now we need two nines. We have some jokers that we could fill in, but I'm not going to fill them in until I feel it's necessary. I have two tiles to discard and so we'll start the game and pick a tile. I pulled an east. Now I will discard east. You can continue in this fashion until you build the hand or you can tr try practicing the Charleston all over again. This lovely set is by Oh My Mahjong. So if you're interested in it, you can go to their site and use my code MAHJCLASS, M-A-H-J-C-L-A-S-S for 10% off. Hope you enjoyed this video on how to pick a hand. What attracts you most to Mahjong? Tell us in the comments below. Give us a like by clicking the thumbs up and click subscribe to not miss our next video. It's your move. If you'd like to take lessons from me, you can contact me on Instagram at Mahjong Class or on Facebook or on my website. The easiest way to get in touch with me is to email me at mahjongclass at yahoo.com. Thanks for watching.